Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs. In this video, we shall discuss some very important questions and these questions was asked in Aizar Bhopal PhD interview this year. So the question was distinguish between the XRD pattern of single crystal and polycrystalline material. So friends, first of all, you should know what is a single crystal and what is a polycrystalline material or a polycrystal. So the single crystal is like this way. That is the have a periodic atomic structure across its whole volume at long range length scales. It has a long range order first of all, and then it at the long range length scale. Each atom is related to every other equivalent atom in the structure by translation or rotational symmetry. So see, this is a single crystal picture and see here, this is the crystal holds the rotational uh, and translational symmetries. So whether you are here or you are here or you here or you are here or you get the same pattern repeated itself. So this is a periodic across the whole volume and it has long range order. Now, what is a polycrystalline material? Polycrystalline solid is a material that is a made of that are ma made of an aggregate of many single crystals. OK, and this aggregate of the many single crystals are also called grains and the boundaries between the different crystals are called grain boundaries. So it has short range order and the grains are usually of the size 100 nanometer to 100 microns and if this size is less than 10 nanometer this is these are called nanocrystalline and this high degree of order over many atomic or molecular dimension so this look here this is a polycrystalline over here the range is shorter range and here the two different orientation of the single crystals are here. So these are two different uh, grains and this at this boundary, this is called grain boundaries. And this is the amorphous solid that is not periodic. And this is periodic over this particular region, short region. The single crystal, polycrystal and amorphous, these are the basic differences. The single crystal is periodic over the whole volume. Polycrystalline is periodic over the small region or each grain and amorphous solid is totally not periodic. OK, so how we get the XRD pattern for a single crystal and for the polycrystalline material. So for ideally the single crystal shows the intense and sharp narrower peaks in the XRD pattern and the polycrystalline materials show less intense and broad XRD peaks. Why is it so? Look here, the scattering of X-rays is due to the diffraction, right? So whenever there are periodic arrangement of the atoms, like the, then the X-rays will be scattered only those atoms which are at the periodic boundaries, okay? Or the at the periodic form. And so whenever the X-rays will hit this lattice planes, it will get transmitted, it will get scattered. And this will cause the high intensity peaks and this will give you the XRD peaks. Now for the polycrystalline materials, X-rays will be scattered in many directions and it will lead to a large bump distributed in a wide range. So instead of the highly intense narrower peaks which are arising due to the single crystals, we will get some kind of broad spectrum. So look here, this is the, these are the three different figures and I have taken it from research gate. So this is the XRD spectra of amorphous polycrystalline and single crystal silicon sample powder. So this is the peak for the single crystal look intense and sharp peaks are given here for the polycrystalline. There are some kinds of uh, not the sharply intense, but some kinds of bands and uh, spectrum uh, spectra are, uh, the broader. But for the case of amorphous, the spectrums are totally non sharp and they are totally broader in some sense. So if you take the XRD pattern, you will get like this way. So these are the intensity versus two theta. So now I give you some extra information that what will be the XRD pattern for the amorphous material. So for the amorphous material, you will not get any def defined peaks, rather some uh, arbitrary peaks with broad uh, spectrum. For the semi-crystalline, it will like this way and for the highly crystalline, it will get distinguished peaks. And if you want to take the diffraction picture, so look here for the single crystal, these are the diffraction 
spots where the x-rays can be scattered. So there, these are the location of the lattices which are totally periodic in manner. And for the polycrystalline, we don't get diffraction like the single crystal, rather we will get like this way though. So some rings will be formed and the rings will be alternate. That is the uh, intense uh, uh, white band and dark band, okay? So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope you will get more videos in future. Thank you.